journey has begun. We are at the airport. My one bag is checked in and I'm headed to my gate. I'm in Ron's car, getting ready. Right, I'm at the lodge. I had two other through hikers. This is my room. It's already starting to look kind of hiker trashy. This is the view. I'm sure this video is not going to do it any justice, but anyway, all you can see out there is mountains. Lots of them. It's lovely. So every room has a view here. This is my room for the next two nights before I head out. I have arrived at Emma Kalola Lodge. I'm just going to wait for the restaurant to open at 4.30 because I'm famished. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and take a little walk up here. It looks like there's a nice view. Not that my room didn't have a gorgeous view. It most certainly did, but let me take it out. Get some moving in. All kinds of trails up here. A gazebo up here. Let's see what this is. This is lovely. A nice little bench up here. Nice. Oh, it's perfect weather. Nice and it's well, it's hot. I actually had to take my sweatshirt off. I have it on now just because there's a breeze up here. I'm gonna walk up here to this little stone gazebo, see what it is. Oh, too bad. It looks like there was a, a bench. It looks like someone tipped it over. For all of Dio's coming up behind me, the food is buffet style. Good morning. I'm still at the lodge today. My goal today was just to go down to the visitor center, pack my bag, get my tag, and then head out um, tomorrow morning. So here's what we're looking at today. It's rainy. I have all my shit on. And ready to head to the top of the waterfall and head down to the visitor center. Feeling good. Of course, I haven't gone anywhere yet, but feeling good about it. <laughs> okay, here's where we're going. This is what it's going to look like. I am going to get my trucking tools out in just a minute though because I don't know. I'm a tripper. Oh, this is rough. And here we go. I 
don't suspect I'll see too many people this morning. It's that gloomy doomy and all that fun stuff. And I'm headed to the top of the falls real quick. Not that I'll see anything, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> So we are at the very tippity, tippity top. I'm not gonna get a view today, but look at that. No view. Yes, I am the only person out here so far. It's actually really beautiful. Kind of have it to myself. There's the falls. You can see the sun starting to come out. Maybe breaking through the clouds. Still got to go down this. But I would much rather go downstairs than up them. Everyone knows that about me. Look at all the pretty little water just dripping off of this. of you know that the approach trail is closed um, and it's hard to see the waterfall unless you do this little um, section here which will only take you I believe right there to that little stand and then we're gonna be hitting the creek trail off of that so check that out what a beautiful shot My God, this is awesome. I ran into my first through hiker. He's on his way to the visitor center that way. I'm taking this little quick detour because I'm here and I wanna see the falls. And here we are. Wowzers. Loving it. Now we must continue on. Or we'll never get the hike done. Well, today we don't have anything pressing. This was our main thing on the hike today. And to go get our visitor's tag. So, the cool thing about this is what I'm walking on. It looks like it's paved. But it's actually one big rubber tire. Pretty cool, huh? You can kind of see it here. It's soft, it's squishy. It's so that people in wheelchairs and strollers can make it up, which is really cool. And here we go. Look at over there, you're starting to get a view. Yeah. This one's for you. Look at this old truck that's... I don't know how they really got it up there because... Holy cow, it must have fell down. But look at that thing. Oh my god, did I forget my... We're almost down to the visitor center. Look how cool these trees are.
Me too. So this is the bottom of the falls, the creek. Isn't that beautiful? Just came from up there. Holy crap. Still have to go back up there. <laughs> but I'm headed to the visitor center to get my bag tag. Guys, I got my tag. I did my tour. And now I'm in. Getting ready to head back up. went ahead and decided to go ahead with the loop. I was going to go back up the way I came because it was just so beautiful. I knew it would be hard just because it was a lot of incline. But this is lovely too. One of the gentlemen down there suggested I go this way. He thinks it's a little underrated, but it's not bad. It's pretty. The other way was quite lovely too. We'll see when we get back to the top, I guess. As you can see, I'm still pretty red. It's that hot. But my friend Kai and I like to go geocaching. So I'm going to try to do a Kai's Corner. This is for you, Kai. I found my first geocache in Georgia. So my goal is to find one for you in every state. So glad I went early because look, the sun came out. I would have really been hot then. Now also, I basically get paid curious. The majority of my job is noticing, I wonder why the turtle's neck is so flexible. And researching it and then sharing it with you guys. Okay. It's super cool. Does he want to sit? Uh, anybody can be in that. Just get over. Come on over. You All sure? it takes is just a little bit of curiosity and wonder and uh, ability to share that with others, right? So you guys can be naturalists still. And we'll talk about what makes their shell so special. It's really fascinating. has a concave or a curved plastron belly shell. So while I'm in, no matter which way I turn him around, I'm going to pull him back. So a raptor, is, so a raptor is a bird of prey. Bird of prey, P R E Y. What does prey mean? All right, so this is a bird of prey. It's a raptor. So I'll just stand here in my white towel here and talk about our handsome little bird. So this is a, any guesses what kind of hawk this is? Sorry? Red tail is a great guess. And what was that? Oh, yeah. So this is the red tail's closest cousin. This is a red shoulder hawk. He doesn't have his red shoulders yet, though. I mentioned he's a young man. He is in his hat year, and it's his very first year of life. So he came to us last April, so he will be here very, very soon. 
And after his first molt, they molt every year, he'll get his, his iconic red shoulders. He'll look a little different. He'll be black and white and red all over. So he'll have red on the outside on top of his wings and on inside, and like a cinnamony, rusty brownish red on his chest, with black and white stripes on his tail and his wings. But in that first year of life, red tailed and red shoulder hawks look ugly. So you can find them all the way up in Canada, all the way down in Florida, all throughout the US, they're not in the Rockies, and then they have friends the Western screech out on the other side of the Rockies in California. They look almost the exact same, but have a dark beak. Yes. 